Hi there. Today, I'm taking you 2,400 years back in time. In this episode, you'll meet a man called Nehemiah. He used to live in Israel, but had to move to Persia because his home was taken by the enemies. All of this had happened because the Israelites were disobedient to God. Now, Nehemiah served the Persian king as his cupbearer, which was quite an important job. He did his job well and was appreciated by the king. But he longed to get back home to Israel. Nehemiah loved his people and his country, but most of all, he loved God who chose the Jews to be his people. We have guests, Your Majesty. They've come from Israel, but they're not asking to see you, Your Majesty. They've come to see your cupbearer. Of course. Go speak with your guests, Nehemiah. Dear brother, what's going on? Nehemiah, I came to tell you the Jews left in Jerusalem are in big trouble. The wall around the city is broken down and the gates have been destroyed by fire. But that means our holy city is open for all enemies to take. Lord, God of heaven, please listen to the prayer of your servant. We have wronged you greatly. We haven't kept the commandments you gave us. But remember the word that you gave Moses. If we are unfaithful, you will scatter us among the peoples. But if we keep your commandments, you will gather our people and bring us to the place that you have chosen. Lord, listen to the prayer of your servant and those who honor your name. Amen. Tell me, why are you so sad, Nehemiah? You're not sick, so you must have a broken heart. <laughs> Long live the king. But why shouldn't I be sad when my home is in ruins and its gates destroyed by fire? So, what do you need? Well... If it pleases the king, please send me home so that I can rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Okay, okay, hold on a second. So, usually a question like that could easily get a servant killed. But Nehemiah knew that God was with him. So, he knew he did the right thing. Okay, alright, keep going. How long will you be away, and when will you return? I will give you every permission needed, and my best soldiers will join you. Phew. Why have you come here? Uh, for a visit. You can't enter. Yes, I can. We have the king's permission. See? 
Let's check out the damage done to the wall. Listen, Jews, priests, officers and officials. You see the trouble that we're in. Jerusalem is in ruins and its gates are destroyed by fire. Come on, let's rebuild the wall of Jerusalem so that we won't continue to be in disgrace. The Persian king gives us everything we need. God will make us succeed. Yes, let's get this wall rebuilt. I was wondering, why was it exactly Nehemiah that wanted to rebuild the wall? Because he lived all the way over in Persia. I think it was because he loved God so much. He couldn't just sit quietly and watch the holy city fall to ruins. He asked God for forgiveness of the sins of his people and promised to stay faithful. God saw that and that's why he wanted to use Nehemiah. Next time, you'll see that it wouldn't be so easy to rebuild the wall. But because Nehemiah loved God and did as he commanded, God would help the Israelites in every situation. So thanks for following along with this story. And we'll see each other again in another episode of Bible Heroes of Faith. See ya.